is the Jack C. Davis Observatory, and today we will be putting together the Celestron Next Star 4 inch telescope. We're going to start by lengthening the legs of the telescope and securing them, tightening the screw, but not all the way. And you have to do this to all three legs, making sure you extend them all the way. And then tighten. After that, you need to put in the stabler. The little U-shaped part will go right where this extra rod is. You need to position it so that it's not too tight, but so that it'll hold everything. You put the little spring on first, then the washer, and then the screw. until the spring has been tightened a little bit so that this feels relatively stable. <laughs> My friend is going to help me put on the telescope. This is a two-person job because this is something you really don't want to draw. tightly. Make sure your telescope is stable. It's pretty stable, so we're going to point it north now. North is that way. And now we're going to plug it in. You need to go get a power source from the back room. It looks like this. To check if it has enough power, use the on button, the red button, to check if it has a flashlight. That's good. Turn it back off. You get the cord from this little compartment here, and you plug the cigarette lighter part into the power source and the little small end right here into the telescope right beneath the controller where there's a little pronged thing. Now you turn on power source and your controller will bump up. You need to make it parallel, so use the up and down arrows until it becomes parallel with the ground. And now you're ready to align. On the little clicker, you press enter. It'll say auto align, and you'll press enter again. And it's going to tell you to point the telescope north and level the tube parallel. You've already done that, so you're going to press enter. It's going to tell you to enter the longitude, which is 119 and 47. It's already there, so you just press enter. And that's west, so you press enter. It's going to tell you to enter the latitude, which is 39.11. And it already says that, so you're going to press enter. And it's north, so you press enter. It's going to ask you to put in a time, 
So if it was 8 o'clock, you'd put in 20 hundred and then press enter. It'll tell you to select a standard time or daylight savings time. You select whichever time of the year it is, press enter. And it'll tell you to select a time zone. Ours is Pacific USA, so you press enter. It's going to ask you for the date, so you put in whatever date. Today is 03, 07, 09. And you press enter. And so it's going to now slew to a star. And you're going to wait until it's done slewing. I wanted to make in order to make this a little easier, you probably want to take off the telescope cap. And you're gonna take off this little yellow cap in here. And then put the telescope lens in. You want to loosen the little screw on the side right there to put it in and then tighten it to make sure that the telescope won't fall out. It's now centered on Vega, so you're going to turn the red light on and you're going to look and move with the up and down and right and left arrows until the red light is on the star. And then you're going to look at the eyepiece, eyepiece and make sure it's centered there. And once that's done, you're going to click enter. Once you're done, you click align. And it'll slew to Spica, which is the next star it decided to pick to slew to. And you wait till it's done with that. <laughs> you want to wait till all the noises are stopped because even the little noises mean that it's slightly adjusting its position. On the controller, it'll tell you when it's ready for you to align it. So once again, using your red light, you examine to see that the star is in the red light. And you can move it with the arrows if you need to. And then you check the eyepiece to make sure that it's there too. You're going to click enter. And then you're going to click align. And it's going to say turn off pointer, and then you're ready to use a telescope. If you don't know where you want to go, you can click tour, and it'll give you a list using the six and nine, the up and down buttons. You can take a tour of the sky with whatever you want to go to. You just press enter, and it'll go there. Or you can click any of the buttons, such as planet or star or the NGC catalog, and find an object that you would like to see in the night sky.